Hello everybody, welcome back to another video with Lim Reviews. Now you must be seeing a ton of videos on my channel because I've been pushing out new videos all the time and I hope you are not being spammed by all these videos but there's just so many new products to share with you. Now in today's video, I'm going to be focusing on one of Xiaomi's latest devices and that is the Xiaomi 11T that I have right here. Now I've seen a lot of videos online, everyone is doing the review on the 11T Pro and forgetting about this sad boy right here. So I'm going to show you some love, we're going to talk about the 11T and I actually think this is also a pretty good device that was just launched by Xiaomi yesterday. Now quite a fair bit to talk about here so stay with me until the end so you can find out everything that you probably need to know about the Xiaomi 11T right here. Now before I begin, of course, if you like the channel or you like the content that you're seeing here, uh, don't forget to give the video a thumbs up, sub to the channel. We'll be seeing each other a lot more from now on. All right, guys. All right, so let's start off with the pricing for the 11T right here. Obviously, Xiaomi only announced the Euro pricing, so we don't have the Malaysian price here. But based on the 10T that was launched last year, that was approximately RM1699 in Malaysia. So for all of you other guys in the rest of the world, it is approximately 400 plus US dollars, a very affordable price point for what you can get. Now let's check out this device and what it's all about and whether this is something that you might want to consider buying. First up, let's talk very quickly about the design. Now in terms of the design, there's really not much that I want to comment here other than uh, it is a little bit heavy and a little bit thick right here. But more importantly, this brush metal look at the back here actually attracts a fair bit of fingerprints. So I end up wiping the back panel all the time. I don't like to use the case because it just looks better like this. But design wise, there's just nothing much to comment about it. Whether you like it or not, let me know down in the comment section below. First and foremost, let's talk about the display that we have on the front of the Mi 11T. Now the 11T right here has a pretty good display. We have a 6.67 inch 1080p Super AMOLED display that comes with 120 hertz refresh rate and 480 hertz of sampling rate. All of these are very good numbers. It also supports HDR10+, so that's definitely good if you like to watch a lot of movies on your device itself. Now, one more thing that you need to know here is that it is really super responsive, guys. After using this display for a couple of days now, I have only good things to say about the display on the 11T. So at the end of the day, the only small complaint that I might mention about the 11T's display is that although it goes all the way up to 1000 nits of brightness, I did notice that here in sunny Malaysia, the sunlight is just so strong that even outdoors, I'm not able to see the display that clearly. So that's just something to point out there. All right, now let's move on to something more important here and that is about the performance of this guy right here. Now the 11T is using what Xiaomi is calling the Dimensity 1200 Ultra Processor. And you might think that it is the stronger version of the Dimensity 1200, but in terms of the number of cores, it's actually the same. In terms of the clock speeds as well, it is the same as the standard vanilla Dimensity 1200. Now what I really want to share with you in terms of the performance of the Dimensity 1200 Ultra on the 11T here is that I found something pretty interesting. So my OnePlus Nord 2 here also has the Dimensity 1200, but they call it the AI version. And apparently I'm getting higher scores on my OnePlus Nord 2 right here all the time compared to the Dimensity 1200 Ultra. So I'm not sure why that's happening. Also, I did compare the benchmark speeds. It takes about 15 seconds to get it faster than on the OnePlus Nord 2 right here. So that's just something that I found a bit peculiar. Even though we have the Dimensity 1200 Ultra, it is still getting scores that are marginally lesser than the 1200 AI of the OnePlus Nord 2. Okay, so benchmark scores are just benchmark scores. In terms of how they actually perform, I'm not going to talk about a comparison here because I'm going to focus on the 11T only. If you do want the comparison with the OnePlus Nord 2, let me know down in the comment section below. Now in terms of day-to-day -day performance, the 11T here will definitely satisfy your needs. Obviously, even with a Dimensity 1200 Ultra, it definitely gets you through your day very fast and everything is very responsive and snappy. That's the kind of experience that I'm getting with the 11T right here. Launching apps, loading apps, everything is just quick and fast. Now in terms of gaming, how is it like when it goes to gaming? So I know a lot of you guys like to play Genshin Impact. Uh, I personally play a lot of Mobile Legends and Asphalt 9. These games all use quite a fair bit of graphics from the Mi 11T. And honestly speaking, I've been having a pretty good time on the 11T right here. Now I can't say the same for the Snapdragon 888 on the 11T Pro because that device just gets so hot all the time. But with the 11T right here, you're actually getting very good kind of gaming performance at a slightly lower temperature. So the choice is really yours. Do you want like the best of the best kind of performance from the 11T Pro? Or if you're willing to sacrifice just that little bit of performance 
for a much cooler processor, which allows you to hold your phone for longer periods of time, the choice is ultimately yours. Now let's move on very quickly to the cameras at the back here. We have a triple camera setup here that comprise of the 108 megapixel main sensor. It also comes with an 8 megapixel ultra wide and a 5 megapixel macro sensor. Now bear in mind that all these sensors do not come with OIS. However, I'm here to talk today about the camera capabilities and how the image processing is like on the 11T that I have right here. So earlier on today, I just released a video comparing the 11T to the 11T Pro. And yes, the sensors do sound very similar, but the performance from the pictures are very different from the 11T and the 11T Pro. Now, long story short, the images that are coming out from the 11T right here in terms of the main sensor is actually quite good. It is also very clear, a lot of details, and the colors are actually more natural compared to the slightly punchier performance of the 11T Pro. However, one thing I do need to point out here is that the portrait mode on the 11T here is quite bad. I really wish Xiaomi provided us with a telephoto lens instead of that macro lens because just take a look at this image processing that is being done here. Very quickly, let's talk a bit about the wide angle sensor. The wide angle sensor is 8 megapixels, it's not the highest. So you don't get the super sharp kind of images, but in terms of image quality, I think it is still possible. Last but not least, night mode does still work very well on the 11T right here. So yeah, it is what it is. The camera is not the greatest, but it still works well for you to share on your social media. Now, last but not least, let's talk very quickly about the battery in the back here. So obviously this has the same capacity as the 11T Pro. They both come in 5,000 milliamp hour battery, but the charging speed is so-called a little bit slower. And what I mean by that is that it charges up at 67 watts. And to be honest, that's actually quite fast. 0 to 100 takes slightly more than half an hour. So at the end of the day, the charging speed is still decent enough. It's not to say slow or anything. I would still rate it as fast. All right, guys, I think that's pretty much what I want to share about the 11T right here. Again, I don't know why a lot of people are just forgetting about this device. Everyone is talking about the 11T Pro, but I think if your budget is, let's say, approximately RM1699 or 400 US dollars for that matter, you might actually want to take a look at the Xiaomi 11T right here and see if it's your cup of tea. All right, guys, let me know in the comment section what you think about this device here. I mean, is this something that you are considering buying? Would you still consider the Dimensity 1200 Ultra? Yeah, let me know what you guys think. I really want to hear from you guys, and I hope to see all of you in the next one again. Oh, before you go, don't forget to like and sub to the channel so we get to chat a little bit more. See ya.